Hey traders, so welcome to the Sharks Academy. And in this video, I want to share with you the best strategy, which is the 200 EMA, RSI, Stochastics, and MACD crossover. So this is the triple combo method. Over here, right off the bat, you have a support zone, right? Multiple confluences, prices actually taps in multiple times. And finally, you, over here, you can see a blue bullish pin bar candle over here. This is a pin bar rejection of the support and I bought over here with my Stochastics and RSI and MACD crossing over. Stop loss beneath this level and target for the highs over here. So this uh, one is to three, right? So, well, moving forward, we actually do not use all of these indicators at all, okay? So let me just remove all of them. So jokes aside, this is a demand zone, right? This is a demand zone, leaving behind a POI for us to work with. And now, prices taps in, break structure. So this is the new range that we are working with, because once prices break structure, this move over here, this impulsive move, tells me that prices may have the intention to go higher. This becomes my pivot low. This becomes my liquidity high that we are eventually going to target for. And what did this happen? Right, Prices broke structure, leaving behind a demand zone for us to work with. So now let's dive deeper into the one minute time frame to look for areas to buy from. So when prices starts to come back down into our POI, you understand that all of these are the engineering of liquidity you can see. Retail support, retail support, trend line, and this gives us a clause for prices to move higher. Okay, taps into our refined area. So the truth is that you could be a buyer here with a buy limit order. But over at Sharks Academy, we do not do that. We are waiting for confirmations. Prices taps into our POI over here. So understand the shift. Okay, we have a selling climax, automatic rally. We have the ST, ST in phase B. We have the break of structure. We have a demand zone. And this is where we got involved. So the idea here is that if you have missed this trade, it doesn't matter. You can find other ways to get involved. And how do you do so? You can see over here. This is a supply zone that is valid because it broke structure. So prices may hit down if it wants to from here, right? So you can see prices makes its way into this supply zone, reacts, gave us a reaction, and this move failed to break lows. And what happens? It broke structure instead. And immediately you know that this move over here is valid for buys. So this basically becomes your flip zone. Because prices steps into supply, fail to make a lower low, and instead break structure. This is the demand that caused this supply to fail. And that is why you could have been a buyer over here as well. So when we bought over here, our first target was at this high. Because we know that this is a retail support. We have lots of orders above this level. And that is why we have our first partials here. Then we have the next partials at our supply zone and the Last area of take profit will be at this area. All the way until this high. You can see over here. So this was a 1 is to 16.5 trade. And this is a great run. 